Gunpla, anime, toy collecting, shoe collecting, drugs, gambling. What do these things have in common? They're all very addictive and will probably make you very poor in the end. <laughs> Obviously, I don't do drugs and gambling. I'm not enough of a badass to do those things. Also, I don't want to go to jail. But man, toy collecting, anime, gunpla will still drain your wallet dry. But don't worry, friends, because today I'm going to help you establish balance between your hobby and your other personal expenses. Of course, I'm no financial expert, so I asked a friend of mine who was a financial advisor by profession for some input. This video combines financial expertise from other people with my own experience as a toy collector. So my friend told me about this concept known as the 50-30-20 rule. Basically, 50% of your monthly income goes to your needs, such as bills, food, taxes, 20% goes to savings, and lastly, 30% goes to leisure. Take note that leisure also includes expenses for going out, for entertainment, dates, and other recreational activities on top of your hobby. Now, do I believe in the rule? Well, I do think it applies to me, but I don't think it applies to everyone. To determine whether or not this rule applies to you, I think you need to ask yourself these five questions. Question number one, what is your financial class in your country's economy? I believe the rule is very applicable to single people belonging to the upper middle class. But of course, you have to consider your country's economy and how the retail prices of your collectibles translate into that economy. What is the general financial classification of your income with regard to your country's economic standard? If you only make minimum wage in a third world country, I suggest you try expanding your income first before you engage in expensive hobbies. Question number two. Do you have debt? If you do, I think you should lay low on expensive hobbies. Focus on paying your debt first, especially if it's a big one that requires immediate payment. Question number three, do you have kids? If you do, then you're probably gonna have to buy toys for them too. <laughs> Jokes aside, I think parents should only engage in expensive hobbies if they make a lot of money. Having a kid is obviously a large additional expense that would direct you to increase your budget for necessities. And on top of that, you're also gonna have to pay for their leisure. <laughs> you're not just paying for your leisure, but their leisure as well. But it would be pretty cool if you could get your kids into the hobby. Right? <laughs> I think the best thing to do is to enjoy your hobby and expand your income while you're still young and single. Having kids can wait, I think. <laughs> Number four, do you earn from your hobby? Do you do paint commissions? Do you customize? Do you get YouTube or Twitch revenue from your hobby? Do you frequently resell collectibles? Are you sponsored? If your answer to any of these is yes, then I think it's safe to allot a good amount of money for your hobby. A lot of people I know would use money earned from reselling, commissions, sponsorships to fund their hobby or offset associated expenses. Other people would recommend getting an unrelated side job to finance your hobby. But I personally suggest you get one that aligns with your hobby. Having an unrelated side job may take too much of your time to the point that you no longer have time for your hobby. Whereas if your side hustle is hobby related, you're kind of hitting two birds with one stone. But of course, I don't recommend this for everyone. Some people want their hobby to completely just remain as a hobby. And that's completely fine, I get that. Some people don't want to monetize their hobby because they don't want to feel responsible for anything when they're doing their hobby and they just want to enjoy and that's completely fine. I guess in the end of the day, it just depends on how you see your hobby. Question number five, what other things in life do you do for leisure? Do you hang out a lot? Do you drink a lot? Do you have a girlfriend or boyfriend? Do you also collect shoes? Are you also a gamer? Do you spend a lot of money on your PC? If you're following the 50-30-20 rule, I think your hobby and other leisurely activities should share that 30%. That 30% cumulatively covers all of your leisure so you have to take that into consideration but if you're someone who doesn't hang out who doesn't do anything but just your hobby then I guess you can allot all of your leisure funds for your hobby <laughs> if that is the case at least in the end the person who knows the most about your own financial status is you I made this video as a mere guide for you but the final decision is only to be made by you assuming you're a working adult I mean, most of my viewers are like in their 20s, so yeah. <laughs> if you have more questions about this topic, 
I suggest you ask a financial advisor. Probably have a friend or two who are financial advisors. Stay safe, keep collecting, keep spending that money, but don't forget to save. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Peace.